Hello everybody! If you ever started a foreign language in school or language school, your teachers told you different names of animals and objects. So, if you studied English, you know that this is a frog and those are scissors. But has anybody told you how do they sound? I mean, if you need to explain this sound in another language, how do you explain it in English, Russian or German? Or do you know how does a frog sound? I mean, you will say, yeah, I know how does a frog sound like this. But can you explain that in a foreign language? Can you write that down if needed? So today I'm gonna tell you that. You will ask me how did I came up with this topic and I will tell you a small story. When we just started to learn Russian with my boyfriend, we were discussing a lot of different things and somehow we came to a discussion of the children's books and animals and children's stories. And our first animal to discuss was a pig. And I told him that for the children we say that the pig says hru hru. So to describe for a child the, the sound of the pig, we say hru hru. It's actually not only for children, just to describe the sound of the pig, we say that. He was very surprised and told me that pigs cannot sound like this. Uh, in Germany they say oink oink for the pig. So to describe a pig to a child or just to any person actually, you will say oink oink. In the first moment I was very surprised and I even uh, checked the English version and in English speaking countries the pigs also say oink oink. So the same and it's difficult to believe because it's so different from my own language so hru hru oink oink is quite different but anyway our next animal is this one do you know how does this one sound so in german and english the sound is more or less the same they say woof 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 for the dog and in russian it's again quite different we say gaff gaff. So when we explain the sound of the dog, we'll say gaff gaff. And the verb to bark actually will be also connected with gaff gaff, it will be gaffket. So again, big differences here. Our next animal is a duck. And in Russian, the dogs walking around would say kria kria. So to describe the sound, we say kria kria. When I asked my husband how does that sound in German, he was not sure at all if there is any sound. And then he said, probably we are saying quack quack. And I checked the same in English and it also was quack quack. But for me, this is totally ridiculous because this is for me the sound of a frog. The, so the frog says qua qua. Yeah, this is the sound of a frog for me, totally. He thought for a second and then he told me that probably it's the same sound both for a frog and a duck. So if you're from Germany or a German speaking country and uh, you're a specialist in an animal sounds, uh, let us know, okay? So back to our frog. So kra kra, Russian, quack quack, German. And I looked it up in the internet for an English language and that was ribbit ribbit. So they say that the frog sounds ribbit ribbit. For me that was at the first moment totally not a frog. But then I thought a bit longer and imagined the sound of a frog ribbit ribbit ribbit. It sounds a bit like a frog, I should admit. And now let's discuss some objects. Let's say you hear this sound. So how would you describe this sound? It really depends on what is your mother tongue. So for me, that would be tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. For example, in the fairy tale, when somebody doing that on the door, tuk tuk. But we read the German fairy tales and the sound was klop klop or klop klop sometimes. And in English, that will be knock knock. So knocking on the door. One more interesting sound we met in a fairy tale Rapunzel. You probably know this fairy tale about a girl with a very long hair sitting in a very high tower. There at the end of the story the wicked witch was cutting off her hair with the scissors. And there in the German fairy tale it was rich ratch, rich ratch, the sound of the scissors. And then we discussed it and my boyfriend told me that 
mostly they say uh, schnip schnap, not the rich ratch. So schnip schnap is the sound, but both are possible. And I looked up in the internet, the English one would be snip snip for the scissor sound. And in Russian, we would say chick chick. So explain for the child how to cut something and the sound that the scissors make. Chick, chick, chick is the sound. My first thought was all those sounds, it's so difficult, it's so different in all the languages. And I was thinking if there is the same for all the sounds, but actually there are a lot of sounds that are quite similar. Let's look at some animal sounds. For example, cat. Most of the languages it says now. If in your language it's a different one, tell us, that will be interesting. And the cow, it also says moo in most of the languages. Oh, and one more observation. Once we discussed with the foreign students the sounds of different animals and how to call an animal to come to you, for example, a cat or a dog. And in Italian, to call a cat, you will say mush, 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 mush. And that was really funny for us Russian students because mush is a sound is a word for a husband. So calling a cat, you would say husband, husband, husband. And that was really funny for us. Are there any interesting sounds of animals or objects in your language or in the language that you learn? Let us know in the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. And what else? Yeah, learn foreign languages. This is really exciting.